Uh, we are today. This is uh, Peter Christian Hansen Roper. And uh, thank you for joining me. As I said, I uh, want to start a new type of format here. Uh, I'm a U U.S. citizen. I live here in America. And I really want to um, start that sort of new format, having like a, 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 I would say, a Peter Christian talent program. I call it the Peter Christian Save the World Talent Program. Um, uh, that will uh, allow the viewers, you the viewers, to interact with me, you know, give me your opinions uh, on what I'm talking about. Well, we're trying to find ways to make the world a better place, end poverty in the world, stop sicknesses, you know, find jobs. We have too much homeless people sleeping on the streets uh, across the country, uh, in, in Hollywood or Los Angeles or in um, New York or Florida, Miami, Arizona, Douglas, Tucson, Phoenix, all across the United States, Seattle, Washington, D.C., Boston. We just have too much homeless people around the country. We have to do something about that. We also have too much police brutality, too much innocent black, blacks uh, being killed. I have nearly been killed several times by the cops themselves. And as we have to do something about it, I definitely feel that all police um, should have cameras and recorders. Black lives do matter. And I have a clean record. In fact, the, sh the Sheriff's Association, the Deputy Sheriff's Association, awarded me this year the, the, the Citizen of the Year. Uh, the 2015 six of years. I do have a clean record, and I, I, I've never been arrested for anything. Okay, I want to uh, continue talking about um, saving the world from um, conventional nuclear war. I'm an inventor. I've had a U.S. patent, and um, years ago we invented a and designed a platform patent on a on an expanding um, missile system that would be capable of receiving incoming nuclear missiles and actually retargeting them back to where they were sent. We really want to have peace with the Russians. The most important thing that we have is to seek peace with the Russians, peace with the North Koreans, seek diplomatic peace with the Chinese, the Indians, the Pakistanis, the Iranians, you know, that's the most important. If we have peace among the leaders, among the peoples of America and Russia, and the peoples of Europe and Britain and France and the Russians, we all should be living in peace and love. God really intended us to live in peace. As he, he told Abraham that he was going to bless the entire world and as God intended us to live in a paradise. Now, but now we have to deal with uh, nuclear um, warfare and also uh, terrorism, conventional uh, 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 terrorism. We have a lot of technology that we can use to um, stop wars and save lives. Now, <coughs> now the, the conflict in Ukraine where the Russians have actually threatened to use nuclear weapons is going to require us to, number one, negotiate with them 24-7 round-the-clock inspection program by the International Atomic Agency of all the nuclear weapons in the world so that you prevent a first strike. Uh, this system that I'm telling you about is a expanding uh, system. We had applied for it. We had vetted and applied for it. Applied for a patent for it. We're still trying to get the government to grant us a U.S. patent on it. I've got several copyrights on it. And I'm going to go to my map and show you a brief idea of both the systems. We want to have peace with the Russians and with the North Koreans and the Chinese and so forth. So here you would have, say, uh, you would have, here, you know, this is America over here. And let's say that uh, uh, this is, we really had this system here. We would have it, probably, we would have hundreds of it or hundred units of it of this expanding anti-missile system. And uh, we would have it here, you know, circling around America in orbit or we can have it so it can work in the, you, know, you can operate it in, in the oceans. So what this system is really capable of doing, if they were to launch their missile out of Russia, and uh, this is uh, yeah, came here, this system we have in America would be able to disarm these missiles, receive them 
send them back to what's yours. You go back, you can send them back. They can be, we can actually return them back to yours. So this is a system that would be able to operate in our in our oceans, because a lot of a lot, a lot of submarine warfare, you know, is going into or into the sea. So we need to have that system there. If they um, attack, if they uh, so wherever wherever these, wherever these uh, nuclear missiles will be sent, this system is capable of receiving them and sending them back. Yeah. And let's see, this is one here. We have our allies here in uh, Britain. Here, and so they sent them um, from Britain. So they go from Britain here. Let's see, they, they launched from Russia here into Europe. This system is able to send them back. You can see it's a kind of big system. And here you have Russia, here's Ukraine here. So they sent one here from here to the Ukraine. You, the system is able to receive them with target. You know, uh, we have North Korea here, so North Korea sent out a missile here we can uh, from here to here to South Korea be able to basically send it back here to North Korea. So we know Iran probably doesn't have any missiles now, but if they do it, it could protect if if we had a missile going over there Iran we can actually send it back. This is a type of system. So it's a kind of boomerang system. This system would actually make nuclear weapons uh, 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 obsolete. This system can make nuclear uh, weapons obsolete. If you knew that you know, there's a system out there that they were going to um, uh, 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 you were, they were going to send back, if you sent out a nuclear missile and you knew that they were going to take that nuclear missile and send it back to you, you were not going to launch nuclear missiles. So this um, anti-nuclear missile system, um, every country in the world is going to want to have, have it, you know, um, whether you're in uh, America or, or you're in Canada, all these countries are going to want to have a system like this. We call it a boomerang system or a, a receiver system or a retargeting system. But this is something that we really need to build. Um, uh, it will actually make long range nuclear missiles um, obsolete because with this type of system, no country is going to want to launch nuclear missiles. It will make them uh, obsolete. And uh, we invented this uh, a couple of years ago. I, I we filed a patent, patent for it. Um, I can even give it the patent number, which is uh, 0669 We're still trying to get the um, U.S. Patent Office to, um, to, to grant us the patent on it. We got several copyrights on it. But it's a very strong system. Uh, it, it would have to make long range nuclear missiles um, obsolete. You know, no country uh, 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 is going to want to launch nuclear missile because it's going to it's going to boomerang. It's going to send them those missiles back um, back to them. So you know, no country is going to want to want to launch nuclear missiles. In the Caribbean here, if they had one here. Uh, I mean, and I was born in Jamaica. You have all these countries on Jamaica, Trinidad, Barbados, Cuba. You know, you, you, this system is able to take them and actually send them back to the point where they, where they are alone. So, um, the United Nations you now is having um, what they call weapons free zones. I think they, they have one now in um, the Middle East, having a nuclear weapon free zone over here. And they're having another one in, um, I think, South America. And, and they're setting up these nuclear weapons free zone in the United Nations to prevent the use of nuclear weapons. So it, it's very significant because the next president, um, whether we have Hillary Clinton or we have um, uh, you know, Bernie Sanders or Omali or other Democrats or Bush or Fiorina or you know, Donald Trump or um, you have uh, Senator 
Walpole and um, Governor Perry and Governor Scott Walker and, and you know Senator Lindsay and uh, Chris Christie uh, whoever we have as our next president um, dear uh, uh, Senator Ted Cruz, Senator Rubio uh, the, our next president or we might have uh, Ben Carson and a new surgeon dear African American Whoever as we have our, as our next president is going to be able to do something very historic to negotiate with the Russians a new treaty that will completely reduce nuclear weapons, whether they're going to go from 1550 nuclear weapons or they want to go to 700 or they're going to go to um, uh, uh, 500 or they're going to go down to zero, global zero, meaning zero nuclear weapons. So the next president is going to have the opportunity of completely removing the threat of nuclear weapons completely from the world and that's going to be a great thing because the people it will save the world and save billions of lives of uh, God intended us really to um, save the world. Another thing that we're going to have to do, uh, as I said, our threat is going to be from submarine and from smaller bombs, which smaller nuclear bombs like football size or golf ball size um, bombs in the ocean. So what we're going to have to do, um, years ago I invented a flexible, and I got a patent for it, a flexible farming system that you can put in the oceans. And this flexible system, you can one of the fastest ways to to, 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 to have um, use the oceans to produce food, you know, you can have energy, um, have solar panels on them, or uh, you can have a desalination uh, a, a, a plant to desalinate water, like California now is on a drought. You could actually um, have it uh, desalinating water on the ocean uh, to supply California with, with water. You know, they're going to have to start doing that or getting a pipeline to pump water into drought areas like California. So I invented this system. It was it, it, it's a flexible uh, you can uh, f a system, a farming system that's very flexible, and you can put it in the ocean so you can protect against submarine um, uh, uh, warfare, submarine nuclear uh, uh, warfare, um, and uh, actually you can have a barrier against you know people uh, if, if they try, for instance, to send in. Um, uh, smaller uh, nuclear, smaller bombs, gold size, small bombs, you know, the, the, I think our threat is really from smaller nuclear bombs, like football size, suitcase type bombs, so you can build it in all these, you know, these barriers all around here. It's a very flexible system it, that is flexible, and you can put it here, if you can protect against a global warming, you know, you can have a system that really, I think we really need to protect against global warming because what the ocean level is rising and with this system you could actually uh, take off the amount of every year you could actually take off the amount of water that the ocean level rises with the system so if we know that we had um, through global warming we had a million gallons of of, of, of water that rises in the sea levels every year and we have it over here we have all these islands of Indonesia and all these countries where they get hit with the tsunamis you know and we knew that the water level rises a million uh, gallons every year or up in Europe here where you know the water level ocean level will arrive you're going to be able to have this system here and this system can take off it's a mobile system that can take off um, the amount of water. If we know that, say we knew that um, uh, um, we had uh, 100,000 uh, gallons that is going to flood over as we have been had in New York. This is New York here. We had a hurricane in New York where thousands of incendi that the water came up and in a storm and it flooded New York City and caused a lot of damage. We could, with this system, take off those thousands of extra gallons. That's what we really need to be doing with this system. So this system is going to save 
uh, 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 multiple purposes will protect us from nuclear attack is going to protect us from rising sea levels and we can also produce um, produce uh, um, produce water for places like California but this is something that is going to be very important that we are able to use the system to do that thank you very much